How are you coordinating and managing your workflows? If you're using cron jobs with custom scripts, you know that it can get super tricky to stitch together all of your services and applications together to build a workflow, especially as your workflow scales in size and complexity. In this video, we'll explore some of the orchestration services that Google Cloud has to support your workflows. So what is orchestration? Orchestration refers to the automated configuration, coordination, and management of computer systems and services. You can think of orchestration as the process of stitching all of your services and applications together to build an end-to-end -end workflow. Perhaps you want to automate the execution of a single service at a specific time of the day. Or maybe you have a more sophisticated approach of not just automating one service, but automating, coordinating, and monitoring multiple services over longer periods of time. There are several orchestration tools that Google Cloud has to help support your workflows. These include Cloud Scheduler for scheduling single repetitive tasks, Workflows for complex multi-service orchestration, and Cloud Composer for data-driven workloads. First, we have Cloud Scheduler. Cloud Scheduler is a simple scheduling tool that allows you to schedule the execution of a single HTTP-based service on a recurring schedule you define. Many customers use Scheduler alongside other Google Cloud tools like PubSub and Cloud Functions to execute their code in a serverless manner. Cloud Scheduler is great if you need to call a single service at regular intervals. For example, you could use Cloud Scheduler to schedule the execution of a cloud function that sends out daily emails with top news stories about technology. But what if you have multiple services that you need to chain together, feeding the output of one service to the next? Or what if you need to apply complex logic to determine how and when services are invoked? This brings us to workflows. Workflows is a service for orchestrating multiple HTTP-based services into a durable and stateful workflow. Like Cloud Scheduler, Workflows allows you to automate the execution of HTTP-based services running on Cloud Functions and Cloud Run, as well as external services and APIs. But unlike Scheduler, Workflows gives you the power to connect multiple microservices as part of a larger workflow. When you create your workflow, you can use either YAML or JSON. You specify the order of the services, as well as how the result of one step can be used as either an input to the next step or as a condition to determine which step to execute next. Workflows is perfect for chaining together microservices, automating infrastructure tasks like starting or stopping a VM, and integrating reliably with external systems. To execute a workflow, you can manually trigger it via an API call or in the Cloud Console, or you can set up a recurring schedule with Cloud Scheduler. If your focus is on engineering data pipelines or big data processing, you should consider Cloud Composer. Composer is a service designed to orchestrate data-driven workflows and is built on the popular open source Apache Airflow project. Since it's a fully managed service, you don't have to worry about managing Airflow deployments. Composer takes care of infrastructure management for you, so you can focus on actually building your data pipelines. It also supports your pipelines wherever they are, whether that be on-premise or across multiple cloud platforms. Like workflows, you create a task for each step in your workflow, configure the order of the tasks, and specify which tasks to execute next based on some conditions. Tasks are expressed as a Python-directed acyclic graph, also known as a DAG, that can be scheduled to run at a time of your choice or in response to a particular event. Operators allow you to communicate with services across multiple cloud environments and on-prem. In addition to many operators in the Apache Airflow ecosystem, there are over 150 operators for Google Cloud alone. For example, your Composer workflow might start by triggering a data ingestion job in BigQuery, then start a batch processing data flow pipeline, and finally send a Slack notification to teammates that the data processing workload has finished. Both Composer and Workflows are great for orchestrating multiple services and handling long running workflows. However, there are several key differences to highlight. Composer is designed for orchestration of the transformation of data as part of ETL or data engineering workflows. Workflows, on the other hand, is focused on the orchestration of HTTP-based services built with Cloud Functions, Cloud Run, and external APIs. While Composer is designed for orchestrating batch workloads that can handle a few seconds of delay between tasks, Workflows is designed for more latency-sensitive use cases. And while Composer tasks can be modeled as a directed acyclic graph, 
Workflows can work for use cases where you need loops and jumps to already executed steps. So there you have it, an introduction to orchestration in Google Cloud and how you can use scheduler, composer, and workflows to manage and configure your services. Check out the next video on data orchestration with Cloud Composer.